Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC3 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into some of the cool stuff that we've got for this episode. Over at uh, Google and their hosted news for the AFP, uh, they have an article here, Google makes the world a playboard for Legos. That's right. Google began letting Lego lovers build with virtual color blocks in its Chrome web browser and then give creations homes in online maps of the real world. There's something pretty amazing about being able to piece together your ideas with just a collection of colorful bricks, Google product marketing manager Adrian Sagohian said in a blog post. So uh, they think that the uh, freedom, the creative freedom that you get with Lego bricks should not be limited to plastic bins. And uh, that's uh, where the idea behind uh, Build with Chrome came from. So pretty interesting. Definitely give it a check to see if it's uh, something worthwhile. From the Escapist magazine, PlayStation Now beta invites are now being sent out. Uh, when Sony first unveiled the PlayStation Now at its CES presentation earlier this month, it almost promised to initiate a PS3-based beta test of the new service before the end of January. With the month's final days ticking by, it would appear that Sony is keeping true to its word as invitations to the beta are beginning to arrive in lucky users' emails. So, pretty awesome. Uh, they're asking uh, recipients to accept a beta license agreement that will then grant them access to a beta voucher that should arrive in the email in the coming days. So, pretty neat. Definitely check it out. From Tech2 over at uh, tech.firstpost.com, the BlackBerry Messenger is coming to Android gingerbread smartphones this upcoming month. BlackBerry's popular messaging app, BBM, which was recently launched for the Android and iOS mobile platforms, will be coming to lower-end Android devices that are running on gingerbread in February of 2014. BBM's head of product and market branding, Jeff Gadway, made the announcement on BlackBerry's blog, saying BBM will soon be available on Android devices running gingerbread version 2.3.3 plus. So pretty awesome. Definitely check it out if you are a BlackBerry Messenger user. Myself, personally, I'm not, but uh, still pretty interesting nonetheless. From NeoSeeker, EVE Online's $500,000 space battle over a missed payment. We've seen World of Warcraft players go bananas over being hacked or having their parents cancel their account. Not even Dr. Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory was spared from the rage that ensued after a hacking. EVE Online player James Carl and his in-game coalition wound up on the receiving end of player rage of a different sort Monday morning. A missed payment was all it took to start the costliest battle in EVE Online's history. Uh, it was, from all accounts, epic. Definitely check it out, especially if you follow EVE Online. You probably already know about it, but uh, for those of you who don't, it was the equivalent. So EVE Online's uh, has an in-game currency system, but it's tied to real-world currency with an exchange rate. So the cost of the battle that just happened was the equivalent of $500,000 in real currency. And that's the costliest one they've had thus far. So pretty amazing. Definitely uh, check it out. I was kind of floored. I've kind of been ignoring Eve for the longest time, and I don't know why. It's, it looks pretty cool. So uh, maybe I'll be uh, re-looking at it. From uh, Liberty Voice, space travel is affecting astronauts in unexpected ways. Space travel is affecting astronauts, uh, according to NASA, who reported health issues ranging from changes in eyesight to bone density loss to disorientation in returning space explorers. Humans have been going to space for decades now. All of the effects of weightlessness, radiation, and isolation have yet to be determined or even discovered. 
And with a manned trip to Mars looming on NASA's horizon, they want to make sure that they have all the possible complications of space travel planned for to avoid sending men and women on a journey they may survive but only limp away from, which un is really uh, unfortunate. Um, you know, it's better to figure all that stuff out uh, uh, beforehand. So they're, you know, obviously this is an ongoing thing that they're doing, uh, but uh, they are still discovering ways that uh, space travel affect humans. So it should be pretty interesting. From the Edith Effingham Daily News, water, a condition for life on Mars, has been confirmed by a second NASA rover. Now, we've talked about this on a previous episode. Uh, a second rover that, Na that NASA has there on Mars has also confirmed this. Samples from the rim of a 3.7 billion year old crater on Mars are the earliest evidence of water activity yet discovered, confirming previous findings that conditions existed on the now rocky planet for life formation. A group of rocks called the Med Matevijic Formation suggested mild conditions on Mars billions of years ago, according to a finding from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Opportunity rover, which touched down on the planet nearly, well, just about 10 years ago, back in 2004. The discovery was published online Thursday in the journal Science. So the finding adds to the more recent Curiosity mission. Pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, from Newsday.com, Google Glass for your glasses. That's right. Uh, Google is uh, getting glasses. So the goggles don't actually come with lenses in the frame. Uh, for those of you who have seen it, it's really just the frame or kind of a frame with the, with the little uh, Google. Actually, it's this eye here, the Google uh, glass uh, projection going on. Well, they are now making it to where you can get prescription glasses. So for those of you who have who need corrective vision, uh, you can now get prescription glasses with your Google Glass. Pretty interesting. Um, you know, I, I just I still I'm not seeing the value of it, but it just may be me. I don't know. Definitely check it out. That will do it for this edition of The Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And uh, for those of you who have, thank you so much uh, for subscribing. And uh, everything we've talked about, like I said, is linked up in the show notes. Uh, so uh, feel free to visit us online. And we will see all of you on the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye.